Hello, this is Adolfo from Life of Adolfo. Today I'm going to show you the way I cut my stall mats. I know some of us are wondering how, and some of us already know how, but I'm going to show you the way I cut them and the way I seem to find it faster for me to cut them. On the video that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the procedure of me marking them and the way I cut them so you guys can get an idea when you guys start cutting them since I assume that's the reason you're watching this video. The things that I needed was a Sharpie marker, a metallic one, and I'll explain why on the video. A box cutting knife, the one that I used that you don't have to use but I used at the Walt one and I bought it on Tractor Supply. Once again, you don't need to buy it there. You could buy them at Home Depot, Lowe's or anything but try to get one with a fresh blade. The third thing that you need is a carpenter ruler and the fourth thing is for me I used a 4x4 uh, wood but you could use anything that you could put underneath the stall mat to make it easier. Now enjoy the video and if you have questions put them on the comments and I'll answer them. Thank you. So I'm going to show you the procedure on how do I cut them and I'm using a carpenter ruler and that uh, the reason for that is because the owl actually helped me get it more accurate for the lines as for the markers I use a metallic one and the reason for that it's more visible on a black stall mat as you can see right there uh, metallic I used you could use a silver uh, I used like a blue one because that's the one I had and after you do that what I did is I went back with the ruler now that I got a, a measurement and I used the box cutting knife I used the DeWalt one and the reason for the ruler is so I could get an accurate slice I, I try to go um, with the knife depending how deep you you slice it I used like around five four to five slices and then after that I just move on as you can see on the procedure and the video is actually showing you how long it actually took me to uh, slice it as for the working gloves I wanted to use uh, some sort of precaution plus um, I don't know why I, why I was using gloves at that time But just be careful and slice outward or against your body or anybody's that is around you. As you can see, it doesn't take long to slice the first slice. Then I'm going to explain to you why I use the 4x4 later on. The more uh, stall mats that you cut, eventually you're going to be quicker and you're gonna try to uh, uh, slice deeper so you could get um, a faster cut and the uh, second cut because this is like I consider this the first cut and I'll show you what I mean with the second cut right now so now that I'm done slicing it I get the uh, 4x4 and I put it underneath and the reason for that is I don't know if you've seen uh, butchers cut um, meat sometimes they try to spread it so they could keep on slicing it while with the 4x4 if you slice it as you can see I'm following the pattern of the first cut but the more that I push it down the faster it splits the uh, the slice and it's easier to cut it as you can see it's cutting faster now once again once again just try to cut against you and sometimes you don't have to cut it all the way down on uh, and move just keep on cutting it in as long as you see uh, a part and you keep on moving 
the, eventually, once you keep on slicing outward, it's gonna cut it. If you did this on the floor, it, it probably pay, take a little bit longer because you keep on slicing and pushing in while the two sides of the rubber are gonna be pressing inward. One, one important thing is the more you push down, you gotta get the right angle on the knife or else your, your cut is gonna be uh, it's going to have a, a, a incline or basically a slope instead of a straight cut down. And another good thing about having a 4x4 is you don't slice the bottom mat, stall mat or whatever you have on the bottom that will maybe damage or you keep on hitting concrete. As you can see my fat thumb right there, it's actually pressing it down. And as you can see the slice is just, it slices it and then I just move around, uh, move along. I think I said it took me about 15 minutes. I want to say about 12 minutes now that I see the video. The more you press down, the more it will cut faster. But like I said, do not get it on a slope. Just cut straight. And the main one that you're trying to focus to cut straight is the one that you're going to try to keep. Instead of the, the little um, small sleeve or whatever you want to call that it's, uh, that you're going to throw away. As for me, I had to cut about uh, two six feet once, and then another one about four feet. And then on the garage door, I probably cut around the four feet side about, I wanna see, say about four or five of them. Those were my cuts. The hardest one was the one by the door, since I had to cut a little bit. It, co it comes out and then it goes back in. On those, if you cut, you have to basically cut the the extra part so you don't have to um, keep on carrying it to the other side. Uh, basically, to make the the cuts faster. If you keep the the leftover and keep on dragging it, it's gonna take a while. As you can see, I'm almost done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, the bat, the at the end it's a little bit harder because you're pushing the knife all the way there at the end only. But besides that, as you can see, it's easy. It's easy to cut it. And just be careful when you do it. By the way.